Wasn't it like exactly a year ago or something like that when the Toronto Maple Leafs sent down, firstly, it was Jimmy VC on waivers. He got claimed by Vancouver. And then you also had Travis Boyd also sent down, claimed by Vancouver. Later on, you had Adam Brooks claimed by Montreal. Then you had a few more Adam Brooks shenanigans going around. Now he got claimed by Winnipeg. And then yesterday it was Ryan Dezingle. The newest Toronto Maple Leafs acquired in the Nick Ritchie trade, where Nick Ritchie, alongside of a choice of a draft pick, either a third or a second in 2025, was sent over to Arizona for Ilya Labushkin as well as Ryan Dezingle. Well, that Dezingle is gone now. He has been claimed by the San Jose Sharks. Once a Leaf, always a Leaf. Ryan Dezingle over here, as I said in the previous video talking about the actual trade, He's not really, like, the most important guy in the world, so it's not really like the Maple Leafs are losing out on any significant piece. Obviously, he is good depth, which is noted by his pace of 7 points in 26 games this season with the Coyotes. But, still, this sucks, does it not? I take a look at this entire transaction that goes on, you know, the trade that happened, Richie, Dezingle, Labushkin, the pick, and everything, and see Dezingle get claimed... And I still kind of say to myself, you know, Toronto kind of did what Toronto needed to do. I get it. You could be upset that Maple Leafs players are always getting claimed. But at the end of the day, even if you remove Ryan Dezingo from the picture, what you're doing when you're getting rid of Nick Ritchie and the contract he has, 2.5 million bucks a year till the end of next season, is you're freeing up 2.5 million bucks a year for a player that really remotely wasn't worth anything in that respect at all. Furthermore, Ryan Dezingle also has his own contract that is $1.1 million this season, so at the very least there is a little bit of extra amount of cap space that you're freeing up over there. And when you think about it in a vacuum, like, I mean, Nick Ritchie and your draft pick, either a third or the second, in exchange for Ilya Labushkin, which is a shutdown right-handed defenseman, I think it's a pretty good deal still. Sure, it's unfortunate to see the extra asset you got leave the team for free, but... Hey, it bees how it bees, is it not? And Nick Ritchie being gone in and of itself, I think is a pretty big win for the Toronto Maple Leafs based off of what they are planning to do this season as well as next season. Maybe they go out there and try to target another forward to see if they can replace Dezingle in the lineup, assuming Dezingle would have even had a spot. I think Kyle Dubas went out there and said that they wanted Dezingle to clear just so he could be depth in their AHL team, and I get it. Yeah, of course, you want everybody you send down on waivers to clear, but for Dezingle... Unfortunately, it is not the case. He's going over to San Jose, and it's funny because this is yet another player alongside of Adam Brooks, who was technically a Toronto Maple Leaf for like two days before getting sent down on waivers and claimed by some other team. So, talk in the comments what do you think about the San Jose Sharks claiming Ryan Dezingle from Toronto, once a Leaf, forever a Leaf, is it not? I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll show you And, bye.